it, it's everywhere you turn. There, you really just can't escape it once it, once it sucks you in. So, when did you first get into sugar? When did you first get hooked? I want to say around... I started around age 13. Uh, with small things like lollipops. And eventually it just grew into a monster. Yeah, yeah that's how a lot of young kids start these days, because everything's marketed a certain way. Yeah. I hear you. Um, it's it's brought on, and kids don't even know what they're consuming. When did it first get serious? When did you know that it was affecting your life negatively? When I went to a party, and there was a lot of soda. I couldn't refrain from having that much at one time. And once you have that much at once, it's hard to stop. Hmm. So, you know, I went from doing three or four lollies a day, and I started drinking a lot of Coke. And then, you know, I had to step up to doing it in the raw, just raw, straight mainlining it. In your memoir, it said that after a period of time, you were actually living on the street because you couldn't afford to pay for an apartment because all your money was going towards sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, do, you, do you want me to elaborate on that? Yeah. Just tell us what it was like living on the street for that period of time. Yeah, it was it was really rough. Uh, my my two grown kids and my cat wouldn't return my phone calls. Um, you know, it's it's he was it really felt like I had no one, mm -hmm. and uh, it it just it became living off paycheck to paycheck just to support my addiction, which was very hard. What were you doing for a living? Mainly prostitution. I had to make money where I could fit it in, so to speak. Also in your memoir, it says that you were in and out of rehab multiple times. Um, um, what, what was it about the rehab that just didn't stick with you, that, that you had to keep going back to sugar? You know, man, it's like... It's everywhere you turn. There, you really just can't escape it. Once it, once it sucks you in, it's there forever. Um, also in your memoir, it said that you were disowned by your parents, actually. Could you elaborate on that? Uh, you know, young, when I was young, uh, my parents just, I came from a broken home, and uh, they were just never really around for me. So when they did finally figure out that I wasn't making any of myself, anything of myself, they uh, just kind of cut me off. And that was that. You don't mind, do you? Yeah. Okay. You, do you want a bump, man? No, no thanks. Okay. 